The last thing to explore with container replication is maps and sets. And so unfortunately, if you attempt to replicate a map like this, so we have a T map set replicated using, go to our lifetime replicate properties and uncomment that. When you try to compile this, you'll get an error saying error replicated maps are not supported. And the same thing is true for sets. So if you try to make a replicated set, the compile error is replicated sets are not supported. So if you actually did need to replicate a set or a map, what could you do? One workaround is to use arrays to replicate. And so I've set up a function here. We can do command container rep test. We can do add to map and set. And we need to execute that on the server. So I'm going to do server exec. And now you can see on the server, what I've done is I just, I have this actor set, which is not replicated. And I have an actor map, which is also not replicated. However, we have a backing array for both of these that is replicated. And so if we continue, we say replicate map and set workaround. If it's the server, then we basically convert the set into an array using the array method and mark property dirty. For the map, we also reset it. Then we convert the map not replicated into an array, which is of T pair. So we reset it and then we use the not replicated map to call the array function and generate a array of pairs, which is the key and values. And for each of the key value pairs, I have created a struct for replication. And all that has is a replicated key and a replicated value. So if we step over that, we just assign the struct and then we add that to the replicated array. And then mark the property dirty and continue. And so we hit the own rep for our set workaround. And what we have to do is convert the array back into the set. Fortunately, that is really easy for sets. You just reset the set and say a set dot append the array, and it can convert that for you. Similar thing for the map. We reset our actor map, which is not replicated. It is local only. And then we iterate over the replicated workaround array. And for each of those values in the array, we emplace a entry with the key and the value, and we build up our local map based off of the replicated array. Now, I don't think this is something you should do very often, but there are scenarios where a server sets up a map or a set, and we just want the client to know that once and we send it off. Um, but if you're doing this like every frame, there might be, it might be worth reconsidering what you're doing and seeing if you can just derive it locally. But I did want to call out that it is a workaround you can do if you need to do it. We'll explore containers more in detail in further videos.